Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. So on today's show, I'm gonna teach you how to wax your car. So if you wanna enhance the gloss of your vehicle and protect your paint against the element, there is no simpler or better way to do so than to apply a coat of wax. So I'm gonna show you the proper techniques, what products and equipment to use. You're gonna see it's super simple. And without further ado, let's go ahead and start the show. So hey guys, I'm Pan, welcome back to all my regular viewers, and for all of you for whom it's the first time that you watch one of my videos, well if you want to learn more about car detailing, so tips, tricks, techniques, products and equipment, well make sure that you hit the subscribe button that's found under this video, and that way you'll subscribe to my channel and never miss my future videos. So today I'm going to teach you how to wax your car. So as I said at the beginning, if you want to enhance the gloss of your paint and you also want to protect it against the elements, one of the easiest ways to do so is to apply a coat of wax. Now there are traditionally three major forms of paint protection, waxes, paint sealants, and ceramic coatings. Now I've talked a lot about ceramic coatings and there are many tutorials on my channel. That's a technique that's a bit more advanced. So today we're gonna to concentrate on the basics and the traditional method of applying a wax. So the three forms of waxes are spray waxes like the Meguiar's Professional Series Synthetic Express Spray Wax. Now these typically don't last as long as the other two forms of waxes. These are made for final touch-ups and for quick touch-ups as well. They'll last anywhere from a couple of days to about a week. By the way, don't worry, as usual, like in all my videos, I'll drop the links to the products and equipments discussed in the video. I'll drop the links in the description down below for you guys to check them out. So the other two forms of waxes are liquid waxes, like this uh, Pinnacle Liquid Sovereign Wax, which we traditionally use if we're applying the wax by machine. So you have obviously two ways of applying wax. It's either by hand or with your DA polisher. So that's up to you. I'll show you both techniques today. Another liquid wax is the Colonite 845 Insulator Wax. So this is another great, another great Carnuba-based liquid wax. And then we move on to what the uh, enthusiasts love the most, so paste waxes. Now there are many different uh, versions, obviously in many different companies. I've reviewed all of them in separate brand videos on my channel, so feel free if you wanna dig in to more details to watch them later. So paste waxes, well, what they are, they're refined forms of carnauba that have been put into essentially a paste form. So they're poured into these jars. Now this one here is from Swissfax, a premier wax maker. And this is some high grade carnauba wax. This one here is from Obsessed and it's the Swissfax Luxury Carnauba Show Wax. And we got other models. So some of my favorite ones are also from companies like Angel Wax, which makes some premium ones. This is a super premium Enigma wax from Angel Wax. Ammo from uh, Ammo NYC. Now they have their uh, creme paste wax. There are other ones like this Fusion Wax from Fireball. Now this is a Korean based company, another uh, premium wax. So you have two ways of applying wax to your car. So first of all, you can do it by hand. And if you're doing so, well, you'll use either a foam applicator pad, something like this. Always use a high quality and soft applicator pad. And you also have microfiber applicator pads. And then to remove the wax, you always use the highest possible quality microfiber towels. Something like this, the Rag Company Eagle Edgeless. This is their premium towel. It's a 70-30 blend, so it's super plush. It's super thick as well. There's no edges, so no possibility of scratching your paint. If you're applying your wax with your DA polisher, well, obviously you're gonna use your favorite DA polisher. And on that polisher, you're gonna put a soft finishing foam pad. So this one here is from Lake Country. It's a CCS foam pad. This one is the red finishing pad. So this is the softest possible version because again, you do not need any cutting power. You're using the softest possible pads and the lowest possible speeds, speeds two to three on your DA polisher. By the way, a quick tip, regardless of which wax you're applying to your car, always make sure that you read the instructions in the back. This is very important because some waxes have specific ways of application and removal. So you wanna make sure you follow the instructions. The wax makers know what they're talking about. Okay, so step number one, you're gonna thoroughly wash and dry your car and make sure it's free from any defects or embedded contaminants. 
Now, once you're done washing and drying your paint, if you still feel that there are some bonded contaminants that are embedded into the clear coat, well, you have the choice to do a mechanical decontamination with a clay bar and clay lubricant and a chemical decontamination using an iron remover or a tar remover, depending on your needs. Step number two, and this is an optional step, we're gonna properly prep the paint before wax application by using an IPA, so an isopropyl alcohol mix, something like CarPro Eraser or Gion Prep. So essentially what this does is it removes any leftover oils or fingerprints or any other uh, loose contamination that might still be on the body to prep the paint to receive the paint protection. Ideally, you wanna work in a garage, but if you can't, for best results, make sure that you work in the shade, never in direct sunlight, and also apply the wax on a cool surface because this will help and ease the application and removal process. So if you're applying the product by hand, well, you're gonna apply your wax to either your microfiber or foam applicator pad, and you're gonna spread the wax onto the paint using very light pressure, and you have the choice to spread it in either circular motion or in a straight line technique. The straight line technique is what I prefer, but circular motion is fine as well. People are scared that they're gonna put swirls in their paint if they do it in circles, but no real worries, use common sense, because essentially you're using very soft finishing applicators and the wax contains no abrasives in it, so you should be fine, but just to make sure and to be on the safe side, I still prefer the straight line technique. Also, make sure that you apply a very thin layer, so that's a common mistake. People have the tendency to put a very thick layer of wax, and this complicates uh, and makes the whole removal process very difficult, and you're just wasting product. So apply a very thin layer. So you're gonna continue working around the vehicle. You basically have the time to apply wax to your entire car before it's ready to be removed. And the way you can tell that it's ready to be removed is that you run your finger onto the wax, and if it smears, well, it's still not cured, so wait a bit more. But if it comes out clear, well, then it's ready for removal. So to remove the wax, it's super simple. Use your softest, thickest, and plushest microfiber towel, and that's pretty much it. So gently, no pressure, you go ahead and you remove the wax off the paint, and you're good to go. So if you want to extend the life of your wax and make sure it's as durable as possible, well, during your maintenance washes, always use a pH-neutral soap. Also, if you wanna further enhance and boost the gloss of that wax and further enhance its longevity, well, you can use something like a quick detailer or a spray wax. So again, something like the Meguiar's Synthetic Express Spray Wax would be very appropriate after your uh, usual car maintenance wash. So the other application method is using a DA polisher. So you're gonna take your soft foam applicator pad, put it on your DA polisher, of course, now you usually have speed settings. So if we're looking at the polisher here, always select one of the uh, lower settings. So I usually recommend speeds two to three. You don't need a very high speed because a wax is a soft product and you're not cutting into the material. So you're not doing paint correction. You're just simply applying protection. So you want low RPMs. You don't apply any pressure, so let the pad do the work. When you're buffing using the DA polisher, I usually recommend a crosshash pattern, meaning you're gonna do passes up and down and left to right to make sure you have proper coverage. So you're gonna take your liquid wax, you can do an X pattern or a circle, basically whatever you guys prefer, that's not really important, but don't apply too much product. Again, the thinnest possible layer is usually best. So once you've put the wax on the pad, you're gonna lay the pad down flat onto the paint and using no pressure, let the machine do the work. You're gonna spread the product onto the paint. You're gonna work your way around the vehicle. And again, you're gonna test to see if the product is ready to be removed. And if it is, well, again, you use your soft and plush microfiber towel and you remove the wax. It is as easy as that. So the main advantages of using a Carnuba-based wax is that it offers a deep, warm, and rich glow. It offers UV protection. The beading is gonna be very nice, and they're super easy to apply and remove. The con, however, is that the longevity is only from one to three months. So there is a trick. If you wanna extend the durability of your wax, you can apply a base coat of a paint sealant. So that's a synthetic product that will offer a brilliant shine. And the longevity of those is anywhere from five to six months. Now, before you apply your wax, you can apply a thin layer of paint sealant as your base layer. 
And once you're done removing that, you can apply a top layer of your wax as we discussed before. So you're gonna get the best of both worlds. So you're gonna get longevity from the paint sealant and you're gonna get the rich warm glow and gloss from the wax. Now for my favorite ultimate paint sealant and wax combo. Stay tuned for a future video. You're gonna see uh, what combo I chose, but essentially there are many great paint sealants out there. Something like Jeskar Power Lock Plus. You got the Obsessed Paint Seal. This is another great product. You have the Ammo Skin Defense. You have the classic Chemical Guys Jet Seal 109. So essentially there are many out there, usually in liquid form. So that's a great way to enhance the protection and durability of your coat of wax. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you want to continue to learn more about car detailing, so products, techniques, tools, equipment, tips, and tricks, make sure that you hit the subscribe button that's found under this video. And that way you'll subscribe to my channel and never miss my future videos. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by smashing the thumbs up button. And in the meantime, guys, don't forget, keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you on the next one.